Okay guys, without further ado, I'm so excited. I've been preparing for this video for so long and I do actually wanna make a proper commercial for this, but to be honest, I couldn't wait because it takes a lot of time to prepare the footage and then editing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and make kind of a more low effort video, but so that you can see this thing as fast as possible. I've been working on this idea now for about two weeks. The idea for about a week was floating around and then just this last week, I just really been hitting hard and trying to hammer it out. And that reason's because I actually bought the S52X as my main camera because of how value packed it is. It's got those all intra frames that I absolutely love. And of course, shooting in ProRes makes my life a lot easier. However, if you wanna shoot in ProRes, you're gonna have to use an S SSD. Most people are going to be using the Samsung T5 drives, but these things are so bulky when you try to strap them onto a camera. Now, I actually designed this little T5 drive holder for the Ulanzi Falcom F38 and F22 system, which by the way, I think is the absolute best. Nothing comes close to how good that is. And so you stick it on the bottom here, it slots right on, it's 3D printed, TPU case with a PLA connection port, and it's pretty solid. It gets the job done, but then it does eat up this bottom slot here. It also makes it really tough for me to put the camera in the bag and, you know, taking it off isn't the end of the world, but then, whoa, wait, hold up. What if I want to replace the T5 drive? That's a little bit more tricky. And that's when I saw Gerald Undone's video on the Condor Blue SSD handle system. I thought that was such an amazing idea. And when I went to go buy it for myself, I realized not only is it incredibly expensive, which then why not just get your SD cards and just shoot all intro with the internal codex, but also it actually isn't available where I'm at right now. So I couldn't buy it even if I had the money. And that's when my friend let me know about this company called IT. GZ. Now, they're not the first person to make an M.2 drive converter to USB-C. Inside is the Western Digital 570. The next question is going to be how to actually mount it to your camera. There's a lot of ways you can do that because as you can see, when compared to the T5 drive, this thing is a lot more sleek and streamlined and can sit up on the side of the camera. Or if you want to make something like the Condor Blue SSD handle, you can. And that's exactly what I've done today, guys. I've designed a 3D printed handle you can use for pretty much any camera and the ITGZ M.2 converter. It slots right in and slides in really nice. You can adjust the tension by printing different back caps here. These are TPU, so you will need to be able to print some TPU, and that way you can adjust how strong you want it in. If you are like, you want it locked in there, then make it pretty thick. If you want it to be a little bit loose, then make it pretty thin. Now, this may come as a shock to Polymaker, but I don't actually recommend you print it out of Polymax like I did, because you should be using ABS so that there's some temperature protection and, of course, chemical protection as well. If you're filming out in super hot environments, using PLA, even the strong PLA like Polymax, may warp and it may May start to reach that glass temperature, which means it might start to uh, deform in some ways. However, if you're not filming in harsh environments, then Polymax is more than good enough and it's really easy to print. And of course, that's what I'm gonna go with because, well, I love Polymax with all my heart. I can tell you this right now, that this stuff is incredibly strong. It is absolutely rock solid. If you break this stuff, I would be surprised. Let's, let's just give that one more go, huh? Yeah, so um, not even a dent, not a scratch. It's insane. This stuff is just nuts. I mean, listen, you'll eventually break it if you keep slapping it on the ground like that, but I think you'd even break, I think you'd even break aluminum or something. I think I got my point across. Under normal use, there's no way, shape, or form that this is ever gonna fail on you in a catastrophic way. Now we'll switch over to this camera right here so I can show you kind of how it works. I'm using these uh, 5 8 to 1 4 adapters. So these actually go on the inside and screw in from that way so that when you screw on the plate to this, it will be pulling from the material so there's no way for these to like unscrew and you know come off the camera or something like that. I would say this is as solid as it gets. Now here's the actual finished version with those 5 8 1 4 adapters on the inside of this. You can then screw in your standard 1 4 adapter for the camera. And that lets you put a monitor right up here and of course, how you actually connect it to your camera is using this Ulanzi uh, F22. I, I don't know what this is called, but you, you guys know what this is. Um, and this snaps into the bottom here. Uh, I love the F22 system from Ulanzi. It's the absolute best in my opinion, nothing comes close. So you just strap this to the top of your camera, bam. And there you go. You have your handle on the top of your camera, just like that. 
And as you can see, this is the USB cable that comes out of this little extension here and it pushes it to the side, to the side of where your actual uh, plug would be. You can put pretty much any cable you want in this. It, it is TPU. Ugh. It's a little bit stiff to get out, but you don't want it coming out. And it just kind of houses this, this cable here, as you can see, it houses the cable and it slots it in. And with friction, it'll hold where it's at. Trust me, you aren't gonna have to worry about this at all. So the action is very smooth and you can adjust how stiff you want it, but it slots right in there and listen to this. There you go. Look at that, that's in. It took me a, quite a few tries to get that just perfect, to make the USB line up absolutely perfectly. So two things. One, I am gonna be releasing this to the public for free, so you guys can iterate, redesign it, or just print it for yourselves. The next thing is, I actually contacted ITGZ, and I let them know that I made this handle. I showed them a couple of videos saying, hey, this is a product now that I've just released, and there is one thing that I can't manufacture myself, which is the key component to this, and that is your absolutely fantastic M.2 drive. So I'm gonna remedy that and hopefully find more partnership opportunities with ITGZ. Stay tuned, stay in touch, join the Discord. I'll be giving updates on this handle because I kind of feel like this might actually be something that puts me on the map in the camera world. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I could rant about this for days. Gerald, if you're watching right now, I just wanna say a huge shout out to you because without you, I would not be halfway along the journey that I am. You're a fantastic reviewer with the utmost of integrity and you are absolutely a role model for me. So thank you, Gerald. And hey, uh, check this out, man. Uh, I'll give you the file so you can print it yourself or I'm sure you can find someone to print it for you. And uh, hopefully we can get you, if you want, uh, reach out to me on my email or the Discord. I, I'm sure if you ask, we will send you uh, fully functioning. Well, you'll get it. You'll get it in your hands. And so anyways, I know you love Condor Blue, but there's always options out there, right? <laughs> All right, guys, this is Dr. Quads. I'll let you go. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, just a quick update for my cell phone. I wanted to show you it on my camera. Here it is right here. Now, I did get a hold of ITGZ finally, and they kind of gave me the middle finger. <laughs> Uh, I said, that, you know, they said, well, what do you want? How many of these units do you need? I'm like, well, no, I don't have a clear plan. I just was contacting you to see, to show you what I made and how, hey, this could be something really good for your company. Because guess what? I've designed something that's very valuable to the community of any camera out there that uses an SSD. We're talking like Blackmagic 4K, 6K, pretty much all those people, you know, and it uses your ITGC it's designed specifically for your encasement. So I, it's, a, it's a big market out there. You don't even sell to America or anywhere in the West. Um, you know, I just wanted to reach out and maybe see that there's some happy collaboration we could do together. And he's like, well, we, we, we plan on doing uh, international sales later and we could just upload to our own YouTube. We don't need you. <laughs> okay, sorry for trying to work together. Okay, last update, uh, I see this here. The Oracle actually has a version which the size is not too different from what I've designed already a slight modification and it will fit the Orico just fine which honestly will be a lot easier for you guys to get a hold of anyways because Orico is an international brand so I'm gonna go ahead and do the work now and make this fit and then the updated uh, files will be on printables on my website